A prime number is an integer greater than one. His only positive divisors are itself. Imagine a child falling behind in school because he can't understand his teacher. Or going to a movie, concert, or the theater just to hear white noise and echoes. The line between them begins to disappear. Why attend church if you can't hear the message? Airports and public transportation? You run the risk of missing a gate change or important announcement. It's embarrassing, aggravating, scary, and isolating. But this sign changes all that. Do you know what it means? It's not nearly as recognizable as it should be. Here's a hint. You'll find them posted at Westminster Abbey, Logan Airport, Gerald R. Ford International Airport, and the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives. But they should be everywhere. This sign means the facility is looped. And for 36 million adults who suffer from hearing loss and the children born with the number one reported birth defect, it means the difference between hearing and not hearing. We don't have a lot of control over things that affect the lives of so many. We don't know where the next epidemic will start, and we can't predict when the cures for diseases will be discovered. But we can do something to change the lives of millions who suffer from hearing loss, especially when it's as easy as looping. Looping is basically running a coil around the perimeter of a facility. 80% of all hearing aid devices and all cochlear implants have T-coil technology built in. These T-coils pick up the audio signal, which is amplified by the coil, and delivers a direct feed to your hearing device. In a looped facility with a quick switch to the T setting, you go from hearing this to this. This sign is a symbol to the hearing impaired that in this place, they're heard. And they're welcome, not just to be there, but to interact, join in, and feel comfortable in this place.